important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Billy Ray Valentine for TFNN, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we're going to take a look at natural gas, folks, uh, from our good friend Ronald Askus to take a look at it. We've been watching it here for quite some time. The key level that we were watching, of course, was you can see there 2.50. It was holding that trend line, which that trend line is basically a 135 pattern, where each we have higher bottoms. And it was very important that it hold that level. And of course, it did not. We're now trading down around the uh, 220 level. This is where pattern recognition comes in with supremacy, folks, because when it goes below these numbers, you know that something is wrong and you have to get out. That's basically what it is. It's nothing more, nothing less. You've just got to be strong enough to take the loss and move on. Uh, not all trades are going to work. Those of you that have been involved here with 24-7 this past week know that we've had some really good trades in soybeans and gold uh, and in uh, the euro. And Well, we missed the euro, but we had a monster winning trade uh, in the uh, – British pound today, which we'll go into uh, just a little bit. But I just want to f finish up here with the natural gas. That means that the next level that comes down is going to be down around the where it's trading right now. The problem is there is a ratio there, but there's not a pattern. And what pattern recognition swing traders do is they try to line up things that line up so that what they're doing is they give you an edge. And that edge is price and time coming together. When you have that coming together, just like you did in the British pound this morning, and I'll show you this one because we were watching this Sunday and it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Do they all do that? Absolutely not. But you can see here, we had this beautiful ABCD Gartley right at the 78% level. And if you don't believe in ABCD, look how the high was made, folks. A, B, C, now, here's where it gets real tricky. Defy human nature and do the work yourself. Count the number of bars from your low to the high. Okay? Then look at the retracement that occurred right here. And it is exactly like the retracement that occurred right here. Remember, this is one of the third or fourth largest currencies in the world. And then finally, you go up and you count the number of bars up. And this makes this a three drive to a top pattern, drive one, drive two, drive three. Different than a Gartley pattern. A Gartley pattern has lower highs. A, B, C, D. Again, defy human nature. Count the number of bars up in the AB leg. Count the number of bars in the CD leg. And where did the CD leg come to? 78% level. What was the high? 78% level. This is not mysterious stuff, folks. It's just a matter of looking at a roadmap. Now, someone asked the question, is that a head and shoulders pattern? If you look at the left shoulder right here, you'll see that it is considerably lower than the right shoulder. So that does not make that a head and shoulder pattern. Based on the rules of Andrew Lowe's book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, he said for in order to be and this was mathematical formulas far beyond this old cowboy's uh, pay grade. I'm closer to a farmer than a cowboy's, by the way. But you see, you have to have you have this this high here should have been equal or lower right here, but it's not. It was substantially higher by one point. The the, the time difference is correct from head from shoulder to head to shoulder was very close within a couple of days, but that didn't make it right because the price was not right. 
So all we're doing is we're just looking at the ABCD structure. This is the structure that was on page 222 of Gartley's book where he spent two full, day, two full pages describing. He said, look for a market that makes a retracement after a big move down and making an ABCD pattern there. And on page 222, that's why I called it the Gartley 222. And that's where it came from, and that's where it stands to this day. Folks, I only those of you that know me and that subscribe to the stuff and read the books, I look at about seven patterns, seven buys, seven sells, and that's all I'm looking at. Some people say, why don't you look at really, really long-term things? I do, folks, but I don't, I'm not interested in really super long-term trades like weeklies and stuff like that unless it lines up, you know, absolutely perfectly. We had those, we had that in corn. If you remember here, just uh, just a few, uh, was it wasn't very long ago uh, that we had it in the corn. And uh, if you'll give me one second, I'll get that uh, corn chart up here and show you. But that that's the only time that I'm looking at really long-term charts is when they line up. It's all about risk control, folks. It's not about the money you make. It's about the, about the money you don't lose. And that's the real key to uh, what you're trying to look at here. That That's, that's the bottom line. Now, folks, something has happened here uh, this weekend that is so very, very important, and you're probably going to laugh. And when I saw it, uh, I saw it from two or three different people. Uh, Larry Williams sent it to me, and a few other people uh, sent it to me. But when I saw it, I really had to, to laugh because I've been following uh, Barron's for many, many years. And uh, I'll just get this up here. This was from one of our, one of our friends, uh, over in Ireland actually sent this to me and I'll bring this up so you can see it then I'm going to show you the the uh, the cover of Barron's so you'll be able to look at it Barron's has a notorious reputation of picking tops and bottoms and as you can see here that says we're ready to rock and roll the bull market is back here's the actual cover of Barron's this week and I mean if you historically go back and look, you'll probably be really surprised. I've been following it for years. I had one really neat chart uh, re regarding risk control that came in in, uh, in March of 2009. If you remember, the bottom was on March the 5th. And I believe the Barron's article was uh, sharks all over the place. Risk is as great as it could possibly be. Stay out of the market, that kind of stuff. And what was it? That was the lowest risk. You could have gotten in the past four or five decades so that's the kind of things and there's nothing wrong with that hey I'm wrong all the time I'm just saying that you know when you put it in print like this you know you've got to follow through now will they follow through if this turns around and happens to be in the high in the market absolutely not but that's I'm just bringing it to your attention because I've seen this over and over and over again and that's one of the reasons why uh, we had a, a really a 30, 30 handle profit in that coming in today, and I said we're going to give it a little bit more room. Of course, we had a big win in uh, soybeans last night. Uh, we had a nice win in in the coal gold, and of course the British pound was uh, a big win. So we had four winners in a row. So I said we should re re rely on get back to the after this break here. We we'll get back to that. Uh, thought in just a moment. Paula Webb will be our guest tomorrow, Mark's wife, uh, widow, and uh, we'll, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstap breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to try to make a point on, you know, news that comes out and fundamentals and things like that because I, I'm a technician, folks. I just look at the bar charts. I've only looked at bar charts for 63 years, folks. It's actually, actually, it's 64 years, 59. 1959 was my first trade in Elastic Stop Nut, ESN. He said little, you know, these little uh, washers and stuff that they put on things? The plastic ones were the first that came out in 1959, and that was uh, very, very power, power, um, powerful. My uncle bought me 200 shares at four. And when it got to eight, I sold it, and I was able to buy myself a nice little car and start college. And uh, from then on, I said, I like this investing type stuff. Anyway, this is Carvana, and you can see here it's had this huge rally, folks, from $4 all the way up to 27 a seven-handle move, 700% in just a short period of time. And the people on Bloomberg and CNBC were saying, boy, this is the start of the full bull market again. Things are looking really great for Carvana. And I said, you know, maybe they really are looking pretty great. So what I did was I took an, a look over the past year. So as I got to looking at it, and I'll bring it up to you to let you see it here, you'll see that all we've did so far, all we've done so far, all we've did, that's the Tarot, Indiana lingo. But there's the 382. We went right up to it. We're trading about uh, $7 under that right now. But you can see it's had a pretty good rally right to the 382, right? Let me show you the next chart, folks. And this will curl your hair if you're li listening to fundamentals and not paying attention to what the heck's going on 
you know, with your uh, stock that you're looking at. Here's Caravana from the beginning to what's happened here when it went from 360 down to $5 a share. Look at the ABCD patterns at the top here, folks. The big one right here, you can see the 382 pullback. It measures up here to 350. The high was 360. And then you had the secondary A, B, C, D pattern right here up at 350. Then the market breaks really badly. And there's the first rally back. At our old, yes, Johnny, everybody sees it, 382, and look what happened all the way down. So I'm looking at stuff like that, and that's the main thing that I'm looking at. There's a lot, a lot of news on artificial intelligence. Folks, this has been around for a long time. Look what, look what Meta has done here uh, just recently. Uh, Meta's gone absolutely nuts how much, it, how much it took off from. They're the leader in uh, artificial intelligence, I've been told, by someone who really understands artificial intelligence, Mr. Jameson. And uh, so, but we've got others. We've got NVIDIA, uh, Avco, and uh, just, you know, a whole bunch of them, uh, Amazon. There's, and there's gonna, it's, not, it's not the panacea of the world, but now they're even saying that it's going to cure cancer. Well, maybe it is, and gosh, I sure hope that it does, but you just, just a little bit too early. Here's what I'm looking at, folks. We're looking at a market here that's been very, very unusual, even different than the dot-com bubble. We've got seven stocks that are absolutely going crazy to the upside, and the rest of them are being drag dragged along. But you can see here, these are the ones, Tesla, Amazon, Google, Meta, Apple, and the usual the Tesla, all those usual ones are doing pretty good. And Tesla's up like 12 days in a row or something. So... That those are the ones that they these stocks right here, those stocks represent seven stocks of the S and P 500, and yet th that is where the S and P 500 is going is because of those seven stocks. If you're not in that, you know you got to be you know you have to be lucky to get in one of the other one that's moving because many of them are not doing, are not doing that well. So that's what I'm you know sort of paying attention to. Uh, one of the favorites that we've looked at oh, over the years has, of course, been the one that has a lot of uh, CIA background and stuff, which is Planeteer. And that brings it's one of our favorite patterns, which is when you have a, a gap up in a chart, you know, look for the first 3A2 retracement. And there you can see it. There it was right there. And, of course, it went all the way up to, uh, I believe, the high was 16 or something. But that was a big move, you know, when you triple up in just a matter of a few days. Do they happen like that very often? I don't know, and I don't do stocks. This was furnished to us by one of our students that was looking at it saying, hey, it did exactly what you said it was going to do. It doesn't always do that. Now, one of the, the big trades, not the big trades, but one of the trades that we're following very, very closely has been the price of gold. And I wanted to mention to you, this is what we were watching last night in the price of gold. I want to get this up here so we'll be able to see it. And it gave us a really nice signal. Here's one that it went. There was our sell signal right here. Our buy signal was right above the 618. It didn't. And then look, look what happened. It didn't get there. And then it broke all the way down to complete the ABCD pattern down here. So what I did was I raised my order in the gold to right about here so that if it got stopped out, you lock in a profit. That's all I want to do. And that's what happened. So that was one that uh, we didn't take all of what was there, but we took a nice little chunk out of it, and that's what we're waiting to do and waiting to see. Now, here is a chart that I think is very, very important, and it may or may not be, but this is on the same realm that we just discussed, and that is the seven stocks that are running the S&P. Uh, they they can give it a name like the Nifty 50 or the, the fabulous, or the Magnificent 7, whatever you want to call it. I've heard it called that. But this is basically what the rest of the market is doing, and this is with those seven stocks. And if you look at those seven stocks on an ABCD pattern, it's a little scary, folks, because look at this is on a long-term picture, folks. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. This is the one for me. I really think we're up here in an area where the oxygen is getting pretty thin. Probably wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to be the first to admit it.
probably four or five days after it's happened, but I'm still going to admit it. And uh, But this is why I'm a little bit nervous up in here. When you see it in the news all the time, the markets are pretty much, uh, you know, telling you what it's looking at. If next Monday, next uh, uh, issue of Barron's says, you know, here's the panacea and it's artificial intelligence, then uh, be, be very, very careful. They just have a terrible – the only one that was worse than Barron's, folks, was Time Magazine. The worst thing could happen to anybody was to get your picture – on Time Magazine, that that was uh, basically the kiss of death. I, they've got so many examples of that, but I've watched Barons through the years, and that's one of the reasons why I've been bringing this up to you today because it's important to remember that what you're seeing in the news has already been reflected in these stocks. You know that 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 party left a long time ago. We're going to take a break, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're going to have a little fun here today. I'm going to post a chart here of the uh, hourly chart on the uh, NASDAQ. And as you uh, believe that's correct, let me double check. Hold on just a second. 
it is in fact a 20 minute chart not that's why I was wondering it didn't have one but four days on it anyway this is the uh, chart I want you to take a look at uh, here's what we're looking at you can see here uh, this is where we had uh, coming in last Friday now th this part this distance right here folks is related to the rollover of the contract okay but the price that you're looking at is going to be very similar to what you're looking at right here. In other words, you've got the move right here. This is still there. And then they roll it over on Thursday. There's Friday's action. There's today's action. And so we're looking at maybe another 100 points higher. And that will make a 1.61 ABCD pattern. That will mean there'll be some resistance coming in at that point, much like what this one was right here. If you go back and look, that was a 1.618 expansion. We came down right to a 382, and we're still going up. Uh, how much higher we're going to go and how many days it's going to be, I don't know. We're seeing divergences, of course, in the Dow Jones and also in the S&P and, of course, in the Russell. All of those are giving signals that the market is being distributed. It's not as easy as you might think. Now, we've been asked to take a look at the uh, crude oil market. I want to get this up here because we were bringing this up uh, last night because we had a very interesting pattern unfolding here uh, in the crude oil. So we'll get this up here. If you like ABCDs, you're going to like this one because it has a bunch of them. We've been in a downtrend. As you can see, we've had these lower tops through here. Um, there was your 382 off of the high, 61% retracement off of this high. Measures, look at the ABCD folks, to within 10 cents of the exact low in crude oil today. Now it's only rallied about a dollar a barrel and it's still down $2.85. So it's down quite a bit, but at least it's made some type of a bottom in here. We're so close to this bottom, I'll be really surprised if it doesn't take it out. But that's what we're watching here in the crude. Has some support right in here, but that's all it is. All you're looking at is multiple ABCDs. There's your first one, A, B, C, and D, right here. And then you have the sharper one down, the big move down, rally up to the 61% retracement, which is 382 of the high from here, and down it comes right to that level. The next thing you want to watch for is the 382 off of this move right here, which would take you up into this area here, which would get crude oil unchanged. So Watch crude oil up around uh, that $71 a barrel if we get there over the next uh, the next few days. So that's how crude oil looks to us right now. If you remember, we had Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on on Friday suggesting very strongly that this thing was headed down. And you can see that's exactly where it's going. We're going to try to have Mike on again uh, later this week uh, to talk to us about these uh energies because he has got a handle on it that is uh, really quite nifty and we want to take advantage of all the information uh, that he has now this next chart I don't really I'm, I'm not I'm not into this type of thing but because it's a chart and someone asked me about it I'm going to bring it to your attention this was hold on I'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it this is about populations folks and I think these uh, this comes from the U U UN population, and it's from The Economist uh, magazine. And what it's showing is that the United States is experience a period of expanding populations. But you can see here Italy, uh, Japan, and many of these other countries, China, population is going down. Now, <laughs> now boys and girls, I am not a rocket scientist, okay? I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana. I was in the fifth grade for three days, but I finally made it through. But all of a sudden, you're telling me that the United States is the only country where everybody wants to do maka maka su, and everybody else wants to go to be a, a celibate in a in a uh, in a convent. Hello, operator. I don't trust this thing from the Economist uh, very much at all. So I, I don't. I mean, I I understand. Uh, China's population going down. But remember, they've taken the restrictions off, folks. It used to be one child only. Now you can have two or three children in China. There's no restrictions. 
So I really am, I don't know the source. Well, the source says the economist, but the person that sent it me asked me to discuss it. And I said, it's only about five levels over my pay grade. And as you hear me talking about it, you can see why I don't understand it. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, breeding in the United States is going up and breeding in these other countries is going down, especially Italy. I'm Italian. Breeding is what we lived by over there back in the days of Rome and all those other years that we were king of the hill, which was uh, quite a ways away. Okay, now let's move over and talk about one other market that we've had several questions about, and that is the, uh, the corn market. We've had a uh, corn's up about 16 cents today. The weather is getting bad. Here's one of those situations where we were able to um, look at corn when it came down, stopped exactly at the 61% retracement here at 492. We bought it. We rallied 30 cents. We took a profit, and we tried to buy it back. We missed. It's gone up another few cents, but we were able to buy the soybeans, and soybeans moved another uh, 45 cents in our favor uh, today. We took a nice profit in that one too. But remember, this is the beginning of the growing season now. We're in the middle of June, and the reason why now, you see, in corn for the first time in a long time, we're making a 382 retracement. It's taken nine days to get there. So there should be a little resistance up here in this area of around uh, 650, where we're trading now in the December corn, which is the new crop. It's also you can see it's a perfect A, B, C, D move right to the downside, okay? So that's what we're paying attention to. Very, very important, okay? All right. Now, the next question that someone asked about was the wheat market. And this is the one that uh, uh, is moving a little bit higher today. This is the hourly chart. We were assuming we might get uh, a gift and see the market come down to our level and, of course, uh, did not. It's gone. It's gone higher up into this area right now. We still have a chance for it to get right down here. We got a call from Mike in Niagara, and what can I help you with, Mike? Yeah. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I wanted to look at the spy chart on the daily, or actually okay. maybe a longer term, maybe the weekly. And I was just wondering, do you see um, uh, like uh, you know A B to C D um, extensions? Oh. To 440. On oh the yes, it, well, it just it's just as clear as the nose on your face. I'll get this up here and take a look at it if you like. Yeah. The, the Thunderbolt. The old Fibonacci. Can you do the thund setting? Thunderbolt measurements. Uh, I was following. I was following another guy, and he had 437. Then he had another A B to C D to 440. Could you demonstrate it? Uh, well, I can't tell from his chart, but all I know is right where we were, where we closed on Friday. We're up a little bit today. We're still in that same yeah. zone. We have not taken out the highs of Friday yet in the cash S&P, yeah. so it's still setting exactly at the 61% retracement. We're going to probably close above it today, but tomorrow we're going to find out whether it'll do it or not. So I hope that answers your question, Mike. Okay. Um, Does that right, answer the question? Okay. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, 
Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the NASDAQ, which is the big daddy rabbit. That's running the whole show. And remember, when you're looking at this, you're looking at, you know, <laughs> like we say, you know, seven stocks out of the 500 S&P. Now, the NASDAQ, this is the NASDAQ uh, 100. This is controlled by 10 stocks. Those seven that I had plus three others, which I'm not sure what they are. But that's what's happening. Now, you see that we've closed substantially above the 61% retracement here uh, in the NASDAQ. And given the news, I'm surprised it's not trading up here, which we might be later on this week. But the news is incredibly bullish every day, all day long in Bloomberg. It was one thing after another on uh, you know AI and all the wonderful things that are gonna be happening with robots and everything else, which I'm sure that's gonna be the case, but uh, you know markets don't go up forever. Now, uh, we were talking to Mike in um, uh, Niagara Falls here, and let's just just take a look here at this chart. While we were chatting with him, I pulled it up and I wanted to show Mike where we were as of Friday. And I want to get this up here, and you'll see um, we closed at uh, 431.99, uh, almost exactly on the uh, Fibonacci level. You can see it right here. And even with all the stuff that's going on today. With the market jumping around, uh, going straight up, uh, you'll be able to see here that this is what it's done here today. We haven't even taken the high out of Friday. Now, we probably will because, you know, we gapped up and then backed off a very, very tiny bit. And now we're still uh, heading higher. But this is not a breakout to me. I mean, these numbers with these ABCD patterns telling me that we're in this zone here, I can't tell whether it's going to be the exact high or low. Nobody can tell us that. It's all about risk control, folks. That's really what it's all about. I'm, you know, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I had a phone call today. Well, never mind. I guess I probably shouldn't mention it. Well, I guess I should. A young man called me and said, gee, I really like your work. He saw one one YouTube video is all he saw. And uh, then he's, he's, a, he's only a very young man. He's only 22, engineering type degree and stuff. And uh said he was really interested in it and say, well, I sent a copy of the book. And, and I said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do something different right here. And I tried to tell him, I said, let's reverse places. I said, you're calling me a man that's going to be 83 here pretty quick. And uh, you're asking my, me my opinion. What would you do if it were reverse and I was calling you and it was 1959 and someone said to you, this is the way you want to start looking at the world 
through the world of finance, okay? That's how I got started doing this. Now, the first few years, I never had any rocky periods until, you know, 1974. I mean, it was a it was a e-coupon ride all the way. All I tried to tell him was is to take that book, trade what you see, and then also he was so excited, he actually bought the Floor Trader's Handbook, which – to me, it's probably one of the best investments you can make because it proves emphatically, without a doubt, the odds of the ABCD pattern working in your favor, okay, better than 60%, and the payoff is usually 2 to 3 to 1. And I said, that'll do that for you. And if you look at some of the things that are also in there, like uh, standard deviation and where the means are because that's where these algorithmic traders make their moves, it'll give you a really big edge. So he said, yep, I'm going to do it. So I sent him a couple of books that I wanted him to read, the Trade What You See book, and then also The Essentials of Trading, which is a compilation of two years of me writing for, gosh, I can't even remember the newspaper. Uh, it'll come to me in a moment. Anyway, um, Market Mavens. And uh, what I did was I'd write a little, a little uh, one-page essay about what I think about each day when I come in to start the trade. And the first thing that I look for is I look for a pattern and I ask myself the question, can I make money off of that pattern? And if the answer to that is yes, I'm going to watch it closely. The second thing is I ask is how much is it going to cost me in dollars to see if I'm going to be right on that? And if that cost is under a thousand dollars, and that's on the really wild stuff like gold and crude oil and the S&P, I'm going to take that trade all day long because I know the ABCDs work more than they fail. That's all I need to know. And I, I mean, I've been doing this so long. I mean, you can sit there and argue with me all you want, but it's not going to do any good because I've emphatically proved it to myself. And with the Floor Traders Handbook, we did 30,000 trades, you know, uh, what do you do automatically and looking at, you know, 15 minute charts. And that gave us the idea of where we were with ABCDs. And that's the edge. Now, ABCDs don't work in one type of market, folks. And that's the market that is pretty much like what happened here to this stock that we were looking at just a little while ago, Planeteer. Let me show you why. This is an unusual situation because what happens is look how the market explodes. You see when markets explode like this, they come out of this like a rocket ship. That's the first sign that the ABCD is going to have trouble because when you see that explosion like that, it's just like if you were – you know, uh, watching a ball drop into a, a swimming pool. If it's a little tiny ball and doesn't weigh very much, it's not going to cause many waves. But if it's a giant cannonball or something like that, it's going to make a huge wave. And that's what you're looking at is when that explodes out of there, those are the danger signals behind the ABCD. The first one is the gap. You can see it here. And the second one is the really wide ranging bars that just keep going and going and going and the third thing is it can't even make a lower low than the previous day I mean look at this all the way up no lower lows than the previous day those are three major things that if you watch those they'll give you a really big advantage now most of the time it's going to be doing the ABCDs look at this back here how easy it was A B C D A B C D there's your final bottom there's your A, B, C, D leg right here. And then you make another A, B, C, D. Here, the gap, you can see you make a gap here. And look, look what happens when the market finally finally makes a correction. It stops it stops going up and takes out the previous day lows for the first time in, you know, half a dozen days. That's telling, huh, something's happened, something different. Now, we had something like that happen today that we've been talking about all last week. And it's something that everybody's involved in. Do you know what that is, boys and girls? Please, Larry, tell me that you have it. And you do. I'll give you a hint. Brrr. Live cattle. Let's get up here, folks. This done exactly what we thought it was going to do. And nothing mysterious, mysterious about it. There's your big run up. Okay. There's your first 382 retracement right here, which is so far been the high of the day. If that's correct, and we're going to be following it here the rest of this week, if we get above here, it's going to be wrong. But if we're right, it's going to be an A, B, C, D down to this level right here. So what are you doing? You're risking $400 to make one, two, three, four, to make 
1,400, three and a half to one. That's the odds that you want to have, folks. That's what the odds are supposed to be. You got your A, B, C, D coming down to that level. So we're going to be following that along each day here so we can have a little bit of fun doing it. Remember, our guest tomorrow is going to be Paula Webb Douglas, Mark's uh, widow. And then on Friday, we're going to have the wizard himself, Norm Winsky. And hopefully we're going to have Stan Harley later this week. We'll be right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe Mike has called back. Mike, are you on the line? Yeah, hi. I know uh, we're coming to the end of the show. Uh, quickly, the, the volatility we're seeing today, could this be attributed to the futures rollover from June to September? Um, not really, like no. Was, that's started not... it started last Wednesday, right? So maybe today's yeah. like the last day of it? or No, no, that that that, that is, takes care of itself. No, that's, that has anything to do with it. It's basically the NASDAQ stocks that are making it go. You can see the NASDAQ keeps you know, going higher and higher, which is yeah. not unusual because it's in the news. But no, that rollover means nothing. That That's just a natural function of the market. It may once in a while, but not this time. This is just very, okay. very, what, what very short What happened to the, the threat of Fitch and S&P? 
uh, downgrading, uh, doing a credit rating <laughs> downgrade on the U.S. Treasuries. What happened to that? Nothing. Everybody didn't think meant anything because they've done it before. Nobody pays attention to it. Cause yeah, but they, in 2011, you know, uh, it tumbled down like in three, actually it was like three trading days. It was just a nasty, nasty sell-off. Yeah. And uh, well, uh, I remember it uh, vividly. Yeah. So like... Um, uh, perfect nothing that, example and why I don't of, follow uh, the news, Russian, Mike. The Russian invasion and uh, the Russian-Ukraine yeah. war, like, like it has no absolute. I, I don't see any impact on on the market. That's why I'm a technician, Mike. I only look at the market. If it goes up, the bars will go up. If it goes down, the bars go down. That's all I need to know. I don't care why. Uh -huh. If you start thinking about why, Mike, you're going to go crazy. Trust me. <laughs> I've been to crazy. Yeah, and like it's I don't not see a fun the geopolitical risk uh, factor into the market here. I don't nope. see these rollovers nope. here. I don't see the the credit rating, uh, the threats on the credit rating downgrades. Like that's um, correct. None of it means anything. I agree with you 100 percent there. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. I hope that helps, my friend. Thanks for calling in. By the way, I really appreciate it. Okay. Guess what? We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Bye.